Jo, what's up beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here in the village. But hey, anytime I come back home, I always show you my village of which most of you think that the entire Takrade is just my village, man. No, the entire Takrade is not my village. I'm just gonna show you, I mean, proper Takrade today. I'm going out today to meet my sister. Actually, I established um, a fashion designer shop for my sister. And I think you guys need to know, you know, the main reason why you guys have never seen that because um, I was trying to establish like a website so that the whole designs will be digital so that some of you can be buying to support my sister's business. So today, I'm just gonna go see what she has done so far. I've never been there myself, even though I'm the one who invested the money. And um, I believe in my sister and I definitely know that she's gonna do an amazing job. So I just wanna pay her a surprise visit. I'm actually going to the bank first, go do all my rounds that I need to do before I go see the shop. I wanna see what she has done so far. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna share that with you. I mean, I'm at the roadside, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's so creepy, like, holding the camera myself, talking to you guys, because I hardly do this. But, like I said, I want to bring back the old Watermeyer. I want to bring back the Watermeyer that used to be on the street, having fun. Um, I got a second channel. You all need to go subscribe to that channel, because that is what I'll be doing. I'll be bringing you behind the scenes of what I do, so that most of you will get to know the hassle behind the videos that we do. So, I mean, I need to go take a taxi and I will definitely show you how to take a taxi in Takradi. This is the taxi rank. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Just head into the taxi rank and down. Um, from there, we're just gonna see my guy right here. You see? <laughs> he, he's, he, he's trying to run away from the camera. I mean, because he thinks I'm gonna ask him some few questions. I'm not gonna do that today. Boss! Down, down. Bajanai. Ah, Ekuba. Yeah. All right. So, the same we're going to Ekuba. Twenty-five seats. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, this is how it is. You have to negotiate the price before you go and um, you say that it's 25 cities. This is going to convert for you guys because I don't know 25 cities. Roughly $5. Yeah. Alright. Charlie, let's go. Let's see, the driver has his mask on and I don't even have a mask. I need to buy one. Okay. Okay, so before I get to Takrada, I definitely need to show you guys this, man. Can you see this town behind? I mean, this is a Fyokuma. And this place is really famous because it has produced most of our famous stars that has ever come from Sekendi Takrada. So, hey, if you know, I mean, anyone from a Fyokuma, just let me know, man. I mean, it's very, very famous. I mean, if you know, um, the only musician that we have right now, Kofi Kinata, is from here. Um, and then this guy, Castro, may he so rest in perfect peace. He was also from here. So, I mean, this town alone has produced legends, man. So, unfortunate that I'm not from here, man. I will have even say that Kwame Kuma was from here. <laughs> Love the fact that there are trees all over the place. I've not even noticed. I mean, <laughs> I just noticed that we actually got trees at the both side of the road, and which is interesting because sometimes when you travel to Accra, you hardly find trees, man. So if you really want to enjoy, you really have want to have fun. If you want to like enjoy the breeze, I mean, Takadi is the best place for you, man. I mean, if you are in Accra, definitely I will be sweating by now. I'm sorry, I crap people. I, I'm not saying this because I'm from Takradi, but <laughs> oh my god! Wow! So this place, this roundabout used to be the Kwame Kuma roundabout, but I heard that they are constructing an overhead bridge over here. So 
they decided to break everything down and construct the overhead bridge that is the airport right there so whenever you come to Takari you know like this is the airport I mean KFC they got a KFC in Takari yeah so yeah I just want to show you guys around because anytime I come to Takari I'm always in my village so they think the entire Takari is just my village yeah so yeah um let's go this is also like a double lane in here that connect I mean what, what is that place called man it seems I forget all the names of this place but right ahead is where you can find the harbor the Takari harbor yeah okay so let's just move I'm gonna show you guys where I attended high school just right on my right hand side I'm just gonna show you guys man Is it left or right left 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 sorry so I'm just gonna show you guys where I attended high school right at my left hand side I'm just gonna show you some of you don't even know uh, maybe I might I might do a story about myself so that's my school right there I don't know if you guys can see it oh, so damn for me from Persina High Technical School, yeah? So this is where I attended high school. Right over there. Yeah. So, no longer a student. Right now, you're out there making money. <laughs> Eco Bank. And this is the Atlantic Hotel. Um, the Atlantic Hotel, the famous Atlantic Hotel that everyone is talking about. This is where a bank, the Pan African Bank. Have a quick meeting before I had to go see my sister. So yeah, I mean, stay tuned. I'll try my best to take you guys to Market Circle. I mean, that is one of the most uh, places that I think if you ever come to Takadi, you just have to visit. So uh, meeting done, and uh, fortunate enough, I bumped into an old-time WhatsApp group friend. Yeah, we met each other in WhatsApp, and uh, we became friends and. No, like I said, I don't have money to buy a car, so I have to jump into my friend's car, man. I mean, this is why you need to keep friends like this, man. Kenneth, when are you getting married, bro? Oh, 27 March. Hey! I hope no one is going to ask me in the comment section, when am I getting married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, he, he sent you an invitation, I think, three days ago. Three days. And I'm seeing you today. <laughs> yeah, but fortunate, unfortunately, I won't be around. So yeah, this is Market Circle, the unique market in the entire Ghana. I mean, it's in a circular shape. I don't know, that's why they call it Market Circle, maybe. Yeah, but uh, I'll try and fly a drone in here for you to see how Market Circle looks like from the top. But currently it's under construction, yeah? But just hope that we get a very good shot today. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm finally here. I'm here to check out what she has done so far. I just want to know if that investment is really worth it. For real? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was where you're coming to. No, that's what I'm coming to do. I need to come and check. Hi. Oh. Okay, so guys, we currently don't have a lot over here, but um, I think you'll see a lot actually, but not so much. So, you let's... Hey! You know, when my sister speaks, I, I simply can't understand what she's saying. You know, we don't have a lot, but uh, hey, yeah. uh, hey, you even have workers. Wow. Okay. Oh, only one guy. Yeah. Bro, you're lucky, man. One, two, three, four. Which one is your girlfriend, man? None. None. You have to up your game, man. Hey, okay, hi. Magic. Nice to meet you all. Nice I don't, to meet you. Why are you all hiding from the camera? <laughs> <laughs> why are you all hiding from the camera? <laughs> so they're actually twins. And twins? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Can we see your face? Maybe uh, we can't see your face. Take, take the nose mask off. I don't have COVID. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. And so we have our lady 
he's she's almost away, but she comes around sometimes. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, I came to check if you guys are really doing something good in here because she's taking a lot of money from me. So really I want to make sure that the, the, the money makes sense, man. I mean, yeah, but so far, so good, yeah? Yeah, of course. So far, so good. So how, how many clothes do you guys produce in a day? Uh, like four to five. Four to five outfits in a day? Yes. So are you sure you can feed my audience with clothes? A lot. So if we get more orders, we get more workers. So, I don't know. You guys can still order and we'll get it delivered anytime that you want. So uh, and it. what kind of um, clothes do you guys do in here? Uh, we do African outfits and other outfits as well. African, mostly Ghanaians. Do you have names for the clothes that you produce here? Yes, we do have so names. The, the one that I'm wearing, what is the name? Sechi. Who is Sechi? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Sechi? That's a random name, actually. Hey, how can you be producing clothes and no, giving I them random have, names? No, not necessarily me producing and giving them random names, but we have, I even have my mom's name over there, just that you're wearing Sechi. We have Wadamaya, we have... But Wadamaya is not my name. Well, that's your stage name. That's popularly known. So that's why we used it. I mean, this clothes right here is called Wadamaya. So hey, I, I, I want you to produce a little of this for me because I have a of lot course. of them who have to buy this one. It's by force. Yes. I mean, if you don't want to buy anyone, this one, I need 100 pieces. Can you guys produce 100 pieces? For yes, of course, we can. Yeah, mm. So if, if you check the website, I also got a website. Oh, why am I talking as if I can one? Sorry. Um, oh. Oh yes, yeah. so we do have a website for the Wadamaya jacket and add that jacket. Exactly. That is very nice and reversible. Wadamaya isn't reversible, but if you want us to get you a reversible Wadamaya, we can do it. That means you can wear it in and out. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so I need 100 people to purchase the Wadamaya jacket. Um, jacket. How much does it cost? Oh, that's like $35. $35? Yes. It's not expensive. Thirty-five dollars. So yes. I, I need that. That um, is excluding shipment. <laughs> excluding. Yes, shipment. shipment. Okay. So. Yeah, excluding the shipment is not gonna be that expensive. So buy one of the Wadamaya uh, jacket and um, I'm not gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need hundred pieces. So yeah, I mean, so far so good. Yeah, we're doing so good. Where are we gonna see Duke's fashion line in the next five years? In Africa, not just Ghana. Hey. Yeah. Because, do you know a slogan? What is the slogan? Embrace Africa, wear Africa. Wear Africa, embrace Africa. Meaning, okay. with time, like two to three years, we'll start producing an outfit from Kenya, um, Zimbabwe, you know, everything, Nigeria, and all mm. that. You get mm. it? So, okay. yeah, that's, that's the plan, guys. And how did all this start? Through the Maya. Through Mother Maya. Me? So, yes, How? through my brother. So, um, after I completed my service, I was so stranded. I didn't know what to do oh, okay. as a lady because I needed to feed myself. Daddy isn't around, and Mother Maya wouldn't feed you. You get it? He always wants you to do something for yourself. So, what happened after service? I wasn't employed. I was stranded and I spoke to my brother about it, like this is what I have in mind and oh, wow. um, he pushed me but he didn't actually give me the money to start it. Hey, okay. Hold what, on guys, hold let on. me explain. Uh, okay. So he didn't give me the money to start it. I didn't start this business with money. Yeah. You get it? So he's always like, help that baby step, help that baby step. He didn't want to give me the money to start the business up like that. I wouldn't have been able to be here if he did it that way. So I actually started with a lady. She was into sewing and um, she sewed an outfit for me to advertise. On my first day of advertisement, I had just four orders and that four included me. Meaning I was going to wear my own outfit. I mean, I'm not going to pay for it, right? So. After I did that, that was wearing a dummy. So after the order, I wore the outfit myself and started taking the pictures. So after I took the pictures, I had 10 orders in a day. Wow. So it started from there. I got a little money 
and the lady too was happy because she was also getting money out of it then my brother here <laughs> spoke to me about me getting my own shop because I didn't have it in mind because I was enjoying what I was doing with the lady I had okay. the money and all that so I was just spending it because I knew that I was always going to get someone to purchase my outfit then we came here exactly then we came here yeah, I yes. mean, hey, I never knew my sister can give that speech. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she was not talking about me. Right? <laughs> yeah, but I, mean, I, 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 I won't lie, I'm so proud of her. I mean, like, sometimes she comes to you, she needs money. Even though I have the money, I'll tell her I don't have. You know, because I wanted to challenge her to start her own stuff. You know, I mean, you have to empower your circle. I have to empower my sister. Right now, as I'm here, before I get out of here, you have to give me money for transport. <laughs> I'm going to get money from you guys. Ah. Um, yeah, because we have a lot to purchase for you guys. But... Exactly, so please, um, this is another thing that, I mean, we've started. I mean, she's in full control. I'm yeah. just gonna be behind the scenes to check out what she's doing. So please, do me a favor. First of all, you better share this video so that other people can see this video. Make sure you like the video. Go to her Instagram page, um, Duke's Fashion Line. Yes. Go follow her on Instagram. And also, any video that I do, the link will be in the description. If you ever want to purchase an African clothes, like she said, it's not just Ghana, but wear Africa and embrace Africa. So wherever you are in Africa, I mean, we'll try and improve the, what do you call it, the design with all the qualified, beautiful ladies, including the gentleman in here. We know that we can definitely produce, of right? Of course, we yeah, can. So yeah, I mean, do us a favor and then like and share the video. Yeah, this is a baby step. We'll very soon we'll be taking an adult step. Yes, Yeah. Course. Do you guys have anything to say? Hey. No. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you feel working in the midst of women, bro? It's not what? I've worked in the midst of ladies. Oh, well, well, no. mm -hmm. Okay, so you're used to it. I don't think I'll be able to do that, man. I mean... So that's my guy. He has your been doing... Guy? No, I mean my hey. worker. Hey. He has okay. been doing the magic. So, oh, okay. yes, he's, I... He's the I'm magician so, behind yes, everything. Yes, okay, amazing. Yes, yes. Wow, and she's also doing the... The neat thing, <laughs> but she's also into the sewing. Okay. Yeah, she's a fashion designer. Oh, okay. My like students, they are all fashion students. Mm. So they just come in anytime that they want to end. Mm. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Um, um, I don't know what to tell you guys, but all I know is I'm going to see you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, and I'm out.